A local company is at the forefront of the fight against COVID-19. They are starting human trials on a treatment and they're taking a unique approach. Here to tell us more, Dr. R.J. Tessie, CEO and Chief Medical Officer of Immune Bio. Thanks for being here, Doctor. Really appreciate your time. Uh, thank you, Eric. Appreciate the time uh, that you're spending with us. And, uh, you know, hope everyone is staying safe and yeah. wearing their masks. Yeah, okay, we are doing our part and keeping our distance here. And I know you are as well. So tell us, your, your company, I know you guys have been focused on cancer, Alzheimer's disease. Now, what are you doing in the battle against coronavirus here? Well, actually, we are focused on inflammation. Immune Bio, which is a public company, INMB, is an immunology company focused exclusively on inflammation. And as you know, if you've been paying attention, inflammation is the great bugaboo of right. COVID-19. The virus itself really doesn't cause, the de cause death. I mean, it causes... An, an immune response, which caused, which is inflammation, and it's the inflammation that makes people sick. You know, and inflammation usually works to our benefit. Just think about a splinter. When you get a splinter, you get a little bit of swelling, it gets red, it gets warm, it gets tender, and then that helps you push that splinter out and sure. that inflammation goes away. The problem with COVID-19 is the inflammatory response is like an atomic bomb. It just, when it finally takes hold, it goes off. And 20% of the people that get a COVID-19 infection get an inflammatory response that makes them sick enough mm. that they have to go seek medical care. And if they're unlucky or have what we call comor comorbidities or risk factors that put them in the, you know, most sensitive to being having bad disease, they end up in the hospital, may end up in the ICU, may end up in a ventilator, hmm. and worse. I know you've been saying so. That inflammation is the is the story with COVID nineteen. Yeah, so much so, you guys, you, you've been saying that we should be treating COVID nineteen as more of an immunologic disease rather than one that's neurologic or respiratory. Going as far to say that. Everyone had it wrong early on, right? Absolutely. COVID-19, you know, you know, I'm a physician. I was a transplant surgeon in my previous life. And, you know, uh, so, you know, I kind of wear two hats here. I, I look at it from the public health perspective and I say, you know, this is a disaster by any stretch of the imagination. But when I look at it from the scientific and medical point, I'm like, wow, this is really interesting stuff. And you're absolutely right. We had it completely wrong early on. We thought this was a respiratory disease, a respiratory virus like influenza. Remember back then we were thinking all about, oh, we aren't going to have enough respirators. And then as time went on, suddenly it became, oh, no, it's affecting the kidneys. We're not going to have enough dialysis machines. Right. And then suddenly it was like, oh, no, it's now affecting the heart and it's affecting the, the the blood vessels causing clotting and now the big deal is that it's affecting kids which is a nightmare for those families right and it's affecting the brain so it really touches every organ system now as a clinician i look and say okay now wait a minute it can't do all of those things what is the thing that what is the thing that knits these problems together and we believe and there's a lot of evidence to support this, that the problem is really the blood clots. The blood clots, they cause the lung problems, they cause the kidney problems, they cause the heart and brain problems. And those blood clots are because of endothelial activation and inflammation. Mm -hmm. Endothelial cells are the cells that line the blood vessels. They're usually just sit there inert. They're like pavement of a, of a highway. You just roll along and you never know they're there. But when they get disrupted and there's tons of potholes and there's problems, they fo form these blood clots and the blood clots actually break off. And that's what the pathology is. I believe when they write the history of COVID-19, hmm. it's not going to be a respiratory disease. It's going to be a disease of blood clots and a disease of blood vessels. Doctor, we only have a, a, a couple uh, seconds left here, but I want to know where your trials stand and what's next in that. So we are actually working with the FDA right now. Our goal is to treat, get patients treated by August. We're targeting the patients who have um, just are sick enough to require hospitalization, but not so sick they're in the ICU. Okay. Our goal is to keep them off a ventilator, get them home, and keep them alive. And we plan to do that with a single shot, one, one dose of Queller, 
which targets the cytokine storm, the TNF of the cytokine storm. Dr. Tessie, please keep us uh, abreast of how these studies are going here and uh, let us know what kind of success you're having. We appreciate your time, everything you're doing here in the fight against COVID-19. Thank you, Eric, and uh, we appreciate you getting the word out that we need to keep those masks in place. Thank That's exactly much. right. Thanks again, doctor. Appreciate your time.